Hey everyone, it's time for a full tutorial on one of the iconic songs, and it happens to be a fingerstyle masterpiece, even for beginners, coming up. Hi everyone, Paul Zagorski here, PZ Guitar, your virtual practice partner. And I'm so glad you're going to practice today with me, Blackbird by the Beatles, Paul McCartney. And I hope you watched and I hope you practiced uh, my fingerstyle beginners playlist because in that playlist, it has essential and fundamental techniques in order to master this upcoming song. It's, it's, it's just very, very important. So uh, the biggest obstacle to, uh, to Blackbird is well it's length for a beginner it's a long song there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on but it has some things going for it as well first off it's iconic you probably are hearing the song right now in your head it that's that's how that's how prevalent it is and there's just two basic patterns two two basic right hand finger patterns that you have to master so let's practice ready so let's have a go so the first one First off, I have a link in the description for the PDF file that I'm using. Maybe I need the PDF file. You know, it doesn't pay to be, to be silly and stupid unless there's somebody watching or recording. First, so let's have a go at this. Firstly, I have a link in the description for the PDF file that I'm going to be using uh, to play that I want you to have so you can follow along because during this tutorial I'm only going to be putting in small little snippets basically a measure at a time and it's be, there's it's it's far too big to you know to 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 cobble together so I'd rather have you have it in one nice PDF file so go to the link in the description it's a PDF file download it add it to your PZ guitar library I mentioned in the beginning that there are two basic techniques that you need to master. The first one I'm going to call the pinch and G. So pinch and G, what do I mean by that? So uh, let's just take, for example, I'm going to put my, uh, my ring finger down on the low E string, third fret, that's a note G, and I'm going to, I'm going to pick with my middle finger on the, on the open B and my thumb on the low E and pluck both at the same time. The thumb goes down, the middle finger goes up. Followed by index finger on the G string. Pinch and G, pinch. Now that was, that technique was part of one of the finger style playlist. So, but let's do that right here, right now. You ready? Let's just do that a whole bunch of times. You ready? That movement, the pinch and G, happens throughout. It happens at various different finger combinations up here. It happens up here and it travels all up and down the fretboard. So it happens all over the place. So it's important that you get that technique down. The other technique is called the roll. And the roll, it's just a couple, this is the name that I came up with. The roll is basically a pinch and G. Let's do it up here at 12 and 10. So pinkies on the 12th fret B string. Index finger is on the 10th fret A string. So let's do a pinch and G. So pinch and G. Pinch, G, and then it's B string, thumb, B string again, G string. Da, 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 da. So let's do that. Let's, let's do that down here, five and three, uh, fifth fifth fret on the on the uh, on the pinky, third fret on the A string. So let's do that, but we'll do it again very slow.
cause one and a two e and three and a four e and I mean, sometimes, you know, calling out, you know, you know, one and two and three and four and or one E and a two E, sometimes that helps. Sometimes it's just confusing. Here, this is a feel. This is just the feel. So those are the two basic right hand movements that we have in this song. The rest of it is just, you know, uh, forming, you know, the, the partial chords and, keep it, and, and keeping it uh, uh, smooth. And the best way to, to, uh, to get this song down, even if you're a beginner, and as a beginner you can do this, I, I believe in you, the key is to play slow. You don't have to learn the entire song in one go. You learn it a chunk at a time. You learn it a measure at a time. Then you learn it as a couple of measures at a time. Then you learn it as a phrase at a time. And then maybe the verse at a time. And maybe the first half at a time. And then the second half. Because a lot of the things, I mean, there's only two basic rhythm patterns on your right hand that you have to know. And many of these patterns repeat you know, so that you don't have to learn, you know, 60, 60 some odd measures of music here. You know, you only have to learn just a few because a lot of these things repeat. So let's practice the song. Let's start off with the intro coming up. Okay, the intro. Third fret. Uh, third <laughs> is the third fret on the low E string. Pinch in G. And then, then we go index finger, B string and the A string with your thumb. And then three and two, pinky and index finger on the B and the A string. So let's just do that. Let's do that two more times. One more. Okay, so now the other half of the intro is we slide way up to 12. Oh, you heard that squeak? You know what? Sometimes that's a badge of courage. Sometimes that's a badge of honor. But if you don't want to have the squeak, what I suggest you do is you're here at, uh, on three and two. You're here on three and two is I just lift up my index finger off of the A string ever so slightly because the A string, these bass strings are wound. So that's what gives you the squeak. The B string is not. So that slides nice and easy. Okay, so it's, it's a... And now we're ready for the second half of the, of the intro here, and it, which is the roll. So let's just do that. Let's just do those first two measures together. Very slow. Repeat again. Okay, so that's the intro. That's the intro, and you will see that 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 initial that initial uh, uh, pinch G's followed by uh, the climb up to the high roll. You'll see that a couple more times. So don't forget it. So now let's start off with the verse. Okay, so the verse is going to be at five and three with a pinch in G, 
And now we, now, now we have to change our grip a little bit. And I'm gonna put my middle finger down on the A string, fourth fret, my index finger down on the high E string, third fret. I'm gonna move up a little bit, seven and five. And then, and then six and five. So let's just do that first part again here, okay? One more time. And so now we start, we, 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 we shift up our middle finger one fret to fret seven, put our pinky down on the, on the, on the uh, B string, eighth fret, and start a roll. We, now we trade fingers, we put our index finger down on six, keep our pinky where it is. So let's just do that again. Slide down to seven and five, and uh, do a roll, uh, do a pinch and G. And now a five and three roll. Put our, uh, trade our pinky for our ring finger. Slide this way, one fret, keep, keep the fingers down. Slide down one more, but now take, so the only, the only finger that's on there now is your ring finger. And now index finger down on the B string, and that's the only finger that's in there, but now your thumb has to be on the D string. And to finish this off, go back up to the uh, low E string and the G for another, for another roll. So let's, let's do all of that. Let's just do all of that in one go. You ready? So we're going to start off with after, uh, after you did the intro. Okay, so now let's finish that, let's finish off the phrase with a light, almost, almost like a turnaround. Okay, so after we do this, this, this roll on, on the, on the uh, low E string, third fret, sixth uh, G string, uh, G note. So now we finish this off with a, uh, with a pinch in G, three and two, and then I got lost there. I got lost, and so uh, maybe I should just move my uh, my notes up here where I can see them a little bit easier. Um, so let's 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 do that. Let's do that 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 whole verse one time. So we're starting off with the five and three. Okay, so that's the end of the verse, and so now we repeat that again, and we start our climb again. 
Jump up to the 12 for the roll for the high roll. Begin the next verse, just like before. Okay, so that's two verses, and now we do a little of a fancy thing. Uh, it's called, I call it the F major section. Why? Because it's in F major. So after we, after we do that, so we jump up and we start doing pinch and G's. So we have our pinky on B string 10, index on A string 8. Slide down one time, but now trade your ring for your uh, trade your, uh, your your ring for your pinky. Slide down two, and now trade your now trade back and get your pinky back involved. So five and three. So let's just do that again. Okay, so now we go all the way down to three and one and do a roll. Climb back up to five and three. And jump back up to 10 and eight. So now, so that's the end of the F. Uh, that's the uh, end of the F major section. Uh, after that, that, that last, we start our climb again. Twelve and ten roll, high roll. Back to familiar territory. Okay, so how do we finish off the first half of the song? We do it with that with that pinch chord. So it's it was again just to let you know. Ring finger down on low E string, third fret G, index on the B string, uh, middle finger on the B string, index on the uh, G string, and thumb and pluck all three. It's a great way to end the song. It's a great way to end that half of the song. So now for the second half of the song, we do our F major section. So after, after that chord, we do our F major section, 10 and, uh, ten and eight, up halfway to five and three. And now we do our climb again. But now, here at the high roll, you know, the 12th and 10th fret on the high roll G, this is where those little birds are 
playing in the background here. So we do the high roll. Repeat that measure. And now we do the first half of that measure. And then just do the 12 and 10 pinch. And have a nice rest. It's called a fermata. So let's just do that, that, that again. One. Two. And now we, we start to do a climb, but it's a fake climb. So now we go to five and three. Three and two. Two and zero. And then the roll on one and uh, on the D. So again, that fake climb is. Now we do the real climb for the last time. That's the last time we're up here. So you hit that little, that, that three note chord again. So now, now we're on the outro. Last time, last one. <laughs> that last thing was just something I just wanted to do. So on that very end, that last chord, it depends on how I feel at the time. And uh, what, you're so, what, is, what is written is uh, ring finger on the B string third fret, middle finger on the low E string uh, uh, third fret, and with your ring on the B, middle on the G, and your index on the D, you make a chord here on, all the, on these four strings. And now, as that, as, as that ringing, move your, uh, your uh, ring finger down, and the same three, uh, th th three strings, the uh, ring, middle, index, on the one, two, and three strings, and your thumb And that's the song. So you know what? Let's do uh, let's do a run through, right here, right now. I mean, I, I think I recorded one earlier, uh, on a different day. But uh, let's do it. Let's do let's do one right now. Okay. Let's let's just do it. And you can play this back as any at any speed that you want. You can slow it down. But remember what I said up front. You, you know, even though it's a long song, you don't have to learn everything all at once. You could do it a measure, a section, a phrase at a time. And a lot of these phrases, a lot of these measures are repeats. So it's not like you have to learn everything. There's, there's really just there's a finite amount that you, have to, that you have to learn. So here we go. Blackbird. Let's see if this gets uh, uh, copyrighted.
Okay, there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I, you know what? Uh, this song, just keep, just take your time. Play it in little chunks. And uh, hey, you know what? If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And uh, hit that bell for notification because uh, I publish a lot. If you, uh, if you haven't watched or, or, or practiced the, uh, the finger style um, playlist, I highly recommend it because a lot of the thing, basically all of the things that are in this song, we go over in that, uh, in that, in that playlist. So these are important fundamentals. And everything that you learned here can be expanded to throughout your finger style uh, career. So again, sounds pretty good. And I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for playing with me and practicing with me, and I'll see you soon.